What's up guys, JP back at you once again bringing you guys review number 27 in my 12th annual 31 Days of Horror from last year. Uh, the film that I'm going to be reviewing today is another Italian one and it is Opera from the year 1989 um, directed by Dario Argento. Uh, it follows a young singer named Betty who is um, in opera singer and uh, she basically takes over this leading role um, in Macbeth and basically this killer shows up and starts killing people in front of her and he takes her eyes and basically tapes needles below her eyelids so she can't close her eyes and makes her watch what he's doing. Um, and it's sort of like a giallo um, hybrid with a giallo slasher. Uh, I feel like the slasher elements are actually outweigh the giallo elements in this particular uh, film. But, uh, you know, being Italian and stuff, and there is some police procedural in there, I do think it's a little giallo. But honestly, it, it, it feels a lot slasher, too. Um, so, basically, um, the movie's cool as hell. First of all, the opening, the location, this giant um, opera theater is so cool for a setting for a horror movie, and it's just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And if you didn't already appreciate Dario Argento, seeing this type of movie uh, really reminds you just how amazing he was back in his peak, right? Like, 70s and 80s Argento is just so good. And a lot of it has to do with just money, really. <laughs> just having the money to do the things that he wanted to do. Um, a lot of times when you're watching Argento films, they feel limitless. Like, they don't feel like they're held back by any budgetary constraints, at least in his heyday. Later on, you don't get that vibe. But um, the location is phenomenal. Uh, you have just absolutely stunning visuals. Um, you have... Uh, pretty pretty decent lead. Some people complain about the music because it is this sort of rock uh, soundtrack uh, during scenes of chaos and, and kills and stuff. And some people don't like it, but I think it fits this movie pretty good, honestly. I, I, I do understand the criticism of including like either heavy metal or like heavy rock in um, as like the score, but. I don't know. You would think I wouldn't like it because I'm not really, really big into those genres of music, but I actually do think it works in some movies, and some people just hate it. I don't know. I, I don't mind it, and I think it works in this one. Um, could it have worked better without it, though? That's the question. Maybe. I'd be curious about that, if there was, like, a different... if they would have done, like, a different version of the movie with a traditional score. Um... Obviously they didn't, but that would have been that would have been kind of interesting to to see. Uh, so there's some pretty decent kills in this one too. Um, specifically, like one of my favorite scenes is um, this scene where there is uh, a woman. I think it, is it Daria Nicolotti who the the woman is. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, this woman is like looking through a keyhole and gets shot in the face and it is just like one of the coolest uh scenes in one of these movies uh it also gets like completely bizarro in the end like like there's a sort of like a false ending and then like a continuation in like a completely different location that looks awesome but it's just wild um there is a, all these bird attacks and stuff like that that from these crows that are part of the the set pieces for the opera um, there's, there's actual opera singing, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, there's, it, I mean, I love, I don't know. I love this movie. I think it's awesome. Uh, there's so many like cool moments in the movie. Um, I watched this one at the drive-in too, which I mentioned in my beyond review. Um, they showed this and the beyond, uh, and cemetery man and a blade in the dark, which I actually ended up not staying for. But, uh, yeah, opera is 
is a lot of fun. I think it's a a, a great slasher giallo. Uh, one of my favorite Argento movies, probably top five for me. Um, kind of a ridiculous reveal and like how that whole thing plays out with the fire and stuff. But, uh, you know, that's Italian horror for you, baby. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, with that said, I don't know. I'll give opera an eight and a half out of ten. Love opera. So, with that said, peace.